To love well, we have to sometimes feel inadequate. The first step to improving committed relationships is to admit that you don't know what the hell you're doing. There's no way you could know. Biology has not prepared us. Nature has an investment in getting us together, but not in keeping us together for long-term relationships. Tradition is hopelessly outdated. In fact, tradition works against long-term relationships now rather than supporting them. And pop culture gives useless, if not harmful, messages. So free yourself from the burden of ego. Say it right now, out loud. I don't know what the hell I'm doing to make a modern intimate relationship work. Okay, now let's say it together. I don't know what the hell I'm doing to make a modern, intimate relationship work. With no ego to defend, you're now free to use the natural feelings of inadequacy about relationships that everyone has to a certain extent. You're free to use them as motivation to learn. Throughout your life, you've used feelings of inadequacy as motivation to learn. Whatever you've, skill you've tried to achieve or a new job you started, you felt inadequate because you didn't know how to do it. And that uncomfortable feeling of inadequacy motivated you to learn how to do it so you could have that comfortable feeling of competence. You have to do the same with love. In love relationships, your partner is your most reliable teacher. Learn from each other how to fit your sensitivities together so you both feel valued and respected. My example of that is my wife has very sensitive skin, but very smooth, lovely skin. I like to rub my cheek against hers, but I have a heavy beard, so before I can do that, I have to do two or three strokes with a razor to make it smooth enough so it doesn't hurt her. Now I could say that she's too sensitive and she could say that I'm too gruff uh, and we never connect. You have to fit your sensitivities together and you can figure out how to do that as a team. Learn to appreciate your different temperaments, emotional histories, and core vulnerabilities. Learn from your partner how to reassure and encourage rather than criticize, shame, or worry. The most loving thing you can say to each other is teach me how to love you.